at times, I don't know what they did. Here is an example. Um, this card, I'm not entirely sure how they made the background. And that's where you would go to step two of this incredibly strategic ninja trick. Uh, you just flip it over and find the person if it's your card deck swap or if it's an artist online that you see, you find their name and find their contact information and ask them. Does this always work? Some artists, some people in life um, have a, a um, what's the word I want to use? Have a, a view of their abilities that they want to keep them secret or keep them safe and they don't want to share their processes. And there is a, there is a time and place for sharing and there's a time and place for keeping your things quiet and close to yourself as you're working them out. So I can respect the fact that some people don't want to share their processes when they are just figuring them out or they're, they're still working and experimenting and they want to keep it sacred. They want to keep it close because they, they're not yet ready to release that connection with source that is helping them come up with the process. I'm like that with a lot of things. I don't like to share my art until it's finished. Not because I'm afraid of people stealing it, but because I'm afraid that I'll break the connection with source. But that's sort of a tangent. I strongly suggest you just ask the person. The worst they can say is no.